Hello, everyone. Uh, I was just uh, reading in the Gospel of John today, and in John chapter 16, there's a particular verse that I think might be encouraging to some of you here today. Now, before I read this passage, I just want to give you kind of the setting, the context of what I'm about to read. See, Jesus is about to go to the cross, and he's already shared the Last Supper with his disciples. He's washed their feet. He's been doing some teaching on some pretty important things. And the disciples have been asking him question after question after question. And Jesus has been answering those questions. And in John chapter 16, verse 32, it says, A time is coming, in fact, has come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. And that just kind of jumped out to me today as we are all scattered throughout um, our this world, but scattered into our own homes. Now, Jesus wasn't talking about social distancing or any of that. He was talking about the disciples' fear of his arrest and what might happen to them. And so um, they, they flee to their own homes because they're frightened of what's going to happen. Jesus has just been arrested. What is this going to mean? And he says, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. I think that's a pretty significant statement that Jesus, even in this dark moment where the disciples abandon him, they're fearful of their own lives, Jesus recognizes that his Father is with him. And then the verse um, following that says, in verse 33, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have, I have overcome the world. That verse is remarkable, remarkable to me. He says, I have told you these things so you would have peace. In the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the fear, in the midst of the worry, as you're hunkered down in your homes, wondering what's going on and, and what this is all going to mean, he says, I have told you these things so that you would have peace. And then he gives us this promise. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. And that's not, some, that's not a message I want to hear. But then he says, but take heart, I have overcome this world. You see, the Romans couldn't stop Jesus. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law couldn't stop Jesus. Even sin and death could not stop Jesus. And so in this time, when we are scattered in our own homes, we can take heart, knowing that the Lord is with us, that we can have peace in his name, that even in this world filled with trouble and despair and frightening situations, Jesus Christ has overcome this world. I love you. Hope you're doing well. Let me know if there's a way that I can pray for you.